Uh, look at Sweden. I see that inflation is far too high, and we have, and I have as my priority to to combat inflation because that's my main priority. Inflation has to go down, um, but we still we we are not there yet. There are two ways to do it. The ECB does this part, and then there's the fiscal side. You can contract the economy by cutting spending. Uh, but the ECB is more concerned with the whole of Europe and not just Sweden. So how do you balance that? Of course, ECB and the Swedish Riksbank are quite, quite close to each other. But Sweden has its own currency, we're our, our own economy. And we really need to, to see that inflation comes down, because otherwise um, it will be bad for households, for companies and for our our finance, of course. With, do you foresee then the Rick's Bank, and this is where you're going to tell me that the central bank is independent and you yeah. wouldn't, yeah, but do you foresee higher, higher rates? They have already told us that, that, that that's what they see, so I guess it, they will continue. And I will do my best in, uh, when it comes to fiscal policy, not to counteract them, but also try to keep our <laughs> fiscal policy quite tight and not too expensive. And, that's a, a usual situation because in Sweden we have high inflation and we're going into recession as well. So that's a bit tricky. Yeah, I mean, it's, it turns into classic stagflation, if not worse. Yeah, and that's why uh, the fight against inflation is so important. When we look at NATO now, which again is not necessarily strictly your area, but you're at the center of government. Um, do you believe that a, re a resolution can be found with Turkey? I'm absolutely confident that we will be mem members of NATO. Sweden will definitely be members of NATO. Uh, that's not a question of if, I see it more a question of when. Do you think it just relies on, to some extent, on the massaging of the Turkish elections? Once the elections are over, things will look different. Oh, I, I, I don't want to, to uh, make any forecasts, or, uh, uh, but I just know that we will be uh, members. I, I'm definitely sure, and we are, um, but it's a question of when. As you look at the Swedish economic model, at this unique scenario of economics, can that survive? Yeah. Can you still have that very expensive social welfare at a time where AI is going to require greater expenditure on social welfare, where the, you're going to have a recession, there's going to be higher unemployment. Is it possible? Yes, I would say yes, definitely. And, and that's because we have a strong, a strong fundaments. And we know that if we, as a new government, we will focus on higher productivity, we will focus on make work pay, we will focus on education and taxes and entrepreneurship, and that will uh, absolutely raise raise uh, growth in the long run. And as a new government, yeah. is there a feeling of what arguably happened in the Reagan years and to some extent the Thatcher years? Do it now. Get, it, get the difficult stuff done. Bef you know, because there's going to be pain doing the difficult stuff. Get it done as quickly as you can. I see that when it comes to inflation, I mean, we have to do that because it will get worse if we don't try to get it down. But when it comes to reforms, um, I want Sweden to be strong in 10, and 15 and 25 years. Right, but that means yeah. doing the work that would be like the dirty work now. Uh, everything isn't easy, of course, in politics, but we need reforms and we need to fight inflation. And that's what we are doing.